let's try to solve this logarithm problem on uh, problems on logarithms but before that let's have a little review on changes of base so let's say we have log base a of b uh, we change them to the same base let's say we want our base to be c so both of them will have a uh, base of c so that's gonna be log base c of b which is the argument and log base c of a okay so this this uh pro this is usually this usually happens when we are adding or we when we are performing uh operations that have different bases let's say one is log two base three and then we are adding it to log base three of two so we need to find a common base for them so we can add them Okay, so let's just take a look at this problem where our p is equal to log base 10 of x and q equals log base 10 of y. And then we have to write uh, all the answers here, a and b, in terms of p and q. So we take a look at, for example, log base 10 of 1000 x cubed y. So um, what do you think is the principle that we're going to use? Here we can use the multiplication principle that log base 10 of 1000 log, plus log base 10 of x cubed plus log base 10 of y. So you remember uh, the multiplication rule of logarithms. And then we know log base 10 of 1000 is 3, that's exponent, 10 raised to 3 is 1000. So this is equal to 3 log base 10 of x, right? And then we have here log base 10 of y. The, 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 the problem calls for writing them in terms of p and q. So this is equal to 3 plus 3 log base log base 10 of x where is that this one so 3p plus uh, log 10 of y is q okay so for the next term a uh, letter b log base x of y so we can use here uh, because our you look at our given the bases are 10 so we can do this change base uh, rule so let's say we would like our base to be 10 so log base x of y shall be equal to log base 10 of y over log base 10 of x. And then we know this to be q and log base 10 of x is equal to p. So this is our answer. First one, this is our answer. Okay. So you may review other items related to logarithms.